Struck is a very important concept in Soyti smart contract development because it will allow you to create related data. And the best part of it is that you can define into separate file and you can import it into a smart contract. So in this, we're going to learn everything about struct that how you can define, how you can update and how you can delete all those things we're going to discuss in this. Let's provide the general configuration. So we have the MIT Soyuti version and let's create a contract and we're going to call it to do. And in that we're going to define our struct. So this is how you can define your struct. You can use the keyword struct and you can define the name which you want to give to your struct. And this name could be anything. It's totally up to you what kind of data you want to model. So in that, let's define the struct. So it will be a string and text and it will have this bool complete. So by default, the Boolean value is going to be false. And if we complete this task, it will turn it to true. So that's the simple struct we have created. Now, when you define your struct, you have to define an array. All the data which you're going to create with the struct that's going to be stored into an array so let's declare declare, <laughs> declare our to do and will be public and to do so that's the how you have to declare struct and how you can store the data into an array now let's create a function which allow us to create our to-do list so let's create a function we'll call it create it will be string call data text and public so anybody making anybody can call this function and in that we're going to initialize so generally we have three way to initialize our struct so we're going to take each of these two so we're going to explore each one of these so let's come here the first one we'll have by calling it like a function and you can take this to look and you're going to push the entire data so we have this to do text and the false so when someone will create, will take the data and will create the, I will turn it to false. Okay, that's the pretty simple things. This is how you can update the data into the struct by using the push method. And there is one more method. The second method we have is by key value mapping. So this is going to be the similar one. All you have to do is to provide the key text. And that's what we have defined in the to do text. And we're passing that. So this is one way. You can do by the key value pair as well. And the last one we have is to create like this initialize and empty struct and then update. So all you have to do is to create a memory to do. So this is our empty and here we're going to simply update that. So we'll take this to do this text to do dot text equal to text. And the same thing we have to do is for the complete and by default, the Boolean value is false. So this is how you can update it. And then we have to push that to do into our to do's. So that's pretty simple thing. Hope it makes sense to all of you guys that how you can update the struct by using these three method. All you have to keep in mind that we have three ways. One, by simply passing the data using the push method in that you don't need to pass the key value pair. And the second one we have is the key value pair. And the third one we have is to creating an empty struct. And then we can update one by one. So these are the three methods we have. Now let's come down. Let's check the soil tea automatically create a getter for to do and to get that you don't need to create a function so let's create a function we'll call it get and that we're going to pass the index public view return and we want to return the we want to return the and boolean so this is the data we want to return from this function and we'll call it to do storage to do and in that we're going to pass the index pretty simple thing and then we're going to simply call this return and we'll pass this data so in this way, we can easily be able to access the data into our array because all the data we have in that array and we have to pass the index of that. So that will give us the data back. So that's pretty simple. Let's create a if you want to update that to do so we can do that. Let's create a, that function for it. So we'll create a function. We'll call it update text and that we have to pass the index and the call data public and we have to simply change the state so storage to do index this will give us the particular to do list which i want to update and in that we're going to simply update the text the text we want to do it so that's pretty simple hope this makes sense now let's come here let's update completed so when you will click yes it will become true when you click, click again on that it will become false that's the simple logic so let's call it complete toggle and we're going to pass this unt index public and we have to simply change the status so we'll create a empty array we'll take that array that particular struct and we're going to simply update that to not this and that's a pretty simple function so if you call this function on a to do it will turn it to false if it's true and if it's false it will turn it to true so that's the simple thing it will do forth and back so 
hope this makes sense to all of you this is the entire smart contract we have written on the struct and now we're going to test this out okay here we have the entire smart contract we have written to understand the struct you can see we have all the create function and we have the get update and toggle now simply deploy the functions i deploy the contract i will click on this deploy and here we have the deploy contract and all the functions so right now you can see we have this five functions and you can see right now we don't have anything into our array so if you come here this is the array we have created okay this one is a yeah if i pass zero index i won't get anything i won't get anything because we don't have anything into that so we have to call this function create so in that what we have to do is let's come here and let's come here this is the function we are calling open this one and in that we have to simply pass the string so the data i want to pass is hey not day and click on this transaction if we do call that the transaction went successful and now if i call this to do here you can see i got this hey text and by default it's false because that's the default behavior of boolean in solid smart contract it will be false now if i want to create one more i can type something like b u d d y buddy and i can click on create and the transaction went successful if i want to access that data i can simply call this one and this will give me the data here you can see we are doing this so we have used all the three methods to create the struct that's why we are getting this problem so to fix this all i can do is simple way that's pretty simple simply comment this and because we're going to use any one method not we're going to use all the method to create the same data so we have uncomment this delete this one and now we have to deploy the contract one more time here the contract is got deployed and now we have this method so we have first thing we have to create i call d-a-u-l-a-t dollar and i will click on this create we have created if we take the zero index i will get that we'll get the data hey text is dollar and if i want to go into this if i pass the index to zero i'll get this dollar but if i want to create one more i'll say s h o a i b shweb and i will click in enter the transaction went successful and if i call this one if i call this one i'll get this shweb you can see this time is working earlier it was not working because we were using three methods two methods to update the same data that's what's the problem and if you do the same thing here in the array it will work in the exact way we got the swap by now what if i want to update this so here we have this get function this is the one which is returning returning the data so now let's update that so to update that we have to pass the index and we have to call the data so here we have this update text and what i want to update so let's expand this one and here i'm going to pass this b u d d y buddy and here i'm going to call it so buddy is on the index zero so let's take index zero and click on this transaction it's been successful if i come here and if i call this to do here i got dollar okay nothing happened so let's see what's the problem we are having here okay my bad my bad <laughs> it's a zero and here i have to pass this buddy b u d d y buddy if i click on the transaction the transaction went successful if i click on this to do i'll get the data buddy so this one is also working fine now let's check this toggle so for that i have to provide the index so let's come here this is the function we have let's close this one this is the function we have if i pass this zero i'll get this data so right now if i open the logs open the logs you can see this is the zero index we have provided and we have done it so right now if i call this zero index it will become true because here we are saying if it's false then turn it to true and if i call it one more time this will become false you can see it's false so this also working fine the to-do list component so hope this makes sense to all of you guys have understood that how you can create struct and how you can update into an array how you can use this three different method to update the struct this is the data from you can you can use to get this is the function which you can use to get the data from the struct and this is for updating and this is for changing the state so hope this makes sense if you have still any confusion do let me know in the comment i would love to help you in that and let's move to the next video in that i want to show you one more thing about the struct